In lesson number one, I showed you how to create a fuller sound when playing the piano from the hymnal. In this lesson, I'd like to give you some fill-in ideas for the right hand during whole notes. I'll use the same hymn that I used in lesson one when I survey the wondrous cross. The first whole note occurs on the word cross. Now we have three more beats left for a fill-in idea. It's so important to keep in mind how many beats are needed for a fill-in because if not, you, could, you might add no, not enough beats or too many beats, creating an unnatural flow to the rhythm and therefore the fill-in is more of a distraction than a compliment. So just make sure you know how many beats worth the fill-in needs to be. Here are some rhythms I can use for this three count fill-in. Three quarter notes, that's three beats, or one quarter note and four eighths, that equals three counts also. I'll use this first rhythm group. One more thing to remember before we add this fill-in is you have to look at the note you're going to go to next. That makes a big difference on where your fill-in should move. Your fill-in should move towards the next note. It can also approach from above and come down on the next note, just so it sounds like it flows with the piece. I'll show you on paper what I'm talking about. Now you're looking at the improvised piano score from lesson one. The word cross takes up the first beat. Okay, I'm going to use three quarter notes for the cross fill in. All I do is I just repeat a C. You don't have to play chords for fill ins, just one note. Fill ins are nice. That's a C. And then I'm just going to jump up to an F and then a G. So this leads straight up to the next note, which will be A. And notice the word cross, the chord was C, F, A. So I just kind of played notes within that chord frame for the fill-in. Now let me show you another fill-in for this spot on the improvised piano score. I'm going to use one quarter note and then four eighth notes for this fill-in because there are three beats to work with. Now the next note of the melody is an F, so I need to think, keep that in mind when I create a fill-in. Now this is, there's some more movement here in this fill-in, so it adds a little more life than just sitting still on a whole note. Remember I said you could use a fill-in where you actually go above the next melody note and come in onto that next note? Let me show you that on paper. Okay, here's the last example for a right hand fill in on the word cross. You're just looking at a different sheet of paper. And all I do is add a C. I jump an octave to another C and a B flat because we're in the key of F. And the B flat leads us right into the next melody note, which is A. So many ideas, huh? Just be creative. Just try a fill-in of your own, and if it sounds okay, it's probably all right. Just remember to use the correct amount of beats for a fill-in so you won't mess up the rhythmic flow. You want it to sound like it fits. Here is your challenge. Just take these few fill-in ideas that I've shown you today and apply them to other hymns that are similar to When I Survey, such as My Jesus, I Love Thee, or Like a River Glorious. Those are both in the same key as When I Survey, so that'll make the application much easier. And just practice the same fill-ins on whole notes in those songs. And after a while, you'll just get used to those, and you'll find yourself making up your own, and that's what you need to do. So just practice away and see what happens.